Using NASA's Webb Telescope, scientists have made a recent discovery that's ushered in a new era of astrochemistry. For the first time outside our solar system, astronomers have captured definitive proof of carbon dioxide on a planet. This intriguing result could help scientists better understand how planets are formed. Welcome to Fact Nominal. In today's video, we'll be uncovering the historical discovery of carbon dioxide in a planetary atmosphere outside our solar system. The exoplanet WASP-39b is a gas giant exoplanet that orbits a G-type star. It's often described as a hot Jupiter extrasolar planet, which was discovered by the WASP project in February 2011. This exoplanet is located in the Virgo constellation, which is approximately 700 light-years from Earth. At the 100th anniversary of the IAU, the International Astronomical Union, specifically the name ExoWorlds campaign, which was a part of the program, this exoplanet was named Boca Prins. This new name given to the exoplanet was derived from the beach Boca Prins in the Arakak National Park. The exoplanet WASP-39b is a hot gas giant, which is quite similar to Saturn. Its maximal puffiness is partly due to its high temperature, which is around 1600 degrees Fahrenheit or 900 degrees Celsius. Compared to cooler, more rigid gas giants in our solar system, WASP-39b orbits pretty closely to its star at only about one-eighth the distance from the Sun to Mercury, and it completes one circuit in a little over four Earth days. This exoplanet was discovered due to ground-based detections of the subtle, intermittent dimming of light from its host star as it passes in front of the star. Earlier observations from other telescopes, such as NASA's Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes, discovered the presence of sodium, potassium, and water vapor in the exoplanet's atmosphere. This exoplanet is well known for containing a significant amount of water in its atmosphere, as stated in a 2018 study. However, it's also recently been discovered to contain carbon dioxide for the first time for any exoplanet, thanks to the Webb Space Telescope's unmatched infrared sensitivity. Regarding this exoplanet's size, WASP-39b is believed to have a mass of about 0.28 times the mass of Jupiter and a radius of about 1.27 times that of Jupiter. The exoplanet is also well known for having an extremely low density compared to WASP-17b. The discovery of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of gas giant exoplanet WASP-39b was made by a team of planetary scientists, including Arizona State University Associate Professor Michael Line, using the James Webb Space Telescope. This team of scientists used the Webb Space Telescope's Near Infrared Spectrograph, or NIRSPEC, to observe the exoplanet in different colors or wavelengths of light as it passed in front of its host star. These observations, otherwise known as a transit spectrum, allowed the scientists to determine precisely what the exoplanet's atmosphere is made of. When light from a host star shines through an exoplanet's atmosphere, the molecules in the atmosphere tend to absorb some of the light in a range of unique wavelengths. Carbon dioxide, for example, absorbs infrared light, and earlier telescopes, such as NASA's Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes, didn't observe this gas molecule in the right range or with the appropriate method to pick out its signature. Luckily, the Webb Space Telescope observes infrared light and was able to pick it up. The team of over 100 researchers examined the Webb Space Telescope's observations and ran them through four distinct algorithms to ensure that the final results were all the same no matter how they were processed. Fortunately, all four algorithms showed a clear signature of carbon dioxide. As previously mentioned, earlier observations from other telescopes had shown the presence of sodium, potassium, and water vapor in the exoplanet's atmosphere. The discovery of carbon dioxide on this exoplanet is the second discovery of elements in the atmosphere of the WASP group of planets. Before this, the Webb Space Telescope discovered water vapor in the atmosphere of this exoplanet. 
WASP-39b has three times as much water as Saturn does, and combined with the water abundance, scientists have inferred the presence of a large quantity of heavier elements in the atmosphere. This also suggests that the exoplanet was bombarded by numerous icy materials which gathered in its atmosphere. A bombardment of this kind would only be possible if WASP-39b formed farther away from its host star than it is now. Thanks to the spectroscopic ability of the Webb Space Telescope to peer into the atmosphere of other planets, scientists would be able to discover the presence of more elements. The discovery of carbon dioxide on this exoplanet demonstrates the long-expected capabilities of the Webb Space Telescope to observe the atmospheres of planets outside of our solar system and also reveal their composition and formation histories. These results open the door to the opportunity of learning about what makes up smaller rocky planets that are also thought to have carbon dioxide in their atmospheres. The findings obtained from this discovery have been accepted in Nature, titled Identification of Carbon Dioxide in an Exoplanet Atmosphere, which marks the first accepted publication describing exoplanet observations with the Webb Space Telescope. The results of this discovery have a statistical significance of 26 sigma, which means that the likelihood of finding such a signature as a statistical fluke is less than 1 in 10 to the 149th power. This comes as a delight and a shock to the team of scientists involved, as nothing like this has ever been seen before. The researchers discovered that WASP-39b has more oxygen and carbon than its host star, which suggests that it didn't form when gas around the star collapsed all at once. Instead, its rocky core was formed first and then amassed the gas that currently makes up its atmosphere. This is quite similar to how we consider the formation of the planets in our own solar system. And with a more in-depth study of the exoplanet's atmosphere, scientists could reveal more details about how and where it formed. The possibility of such a discovery is one of the things that prompts these scientists to continue their work in the hopes of finding more about this exoplanet's atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is a vital component of the atmosphere of many planets in our solar system, as it's found on gas giants like Saturn and Jupiter, as well as rocky planets like Venus and Mars. For researchers specializing in exoplanets, carbon dioxide is quite important, both as a gas that they'll possibly be able to detect on small rocky planets, and as a sign of the general abundance of heavy elements in the atmospheres of giant planets. According to the director of the Other Worlds Laboratory and Professor of Astronomy and Astrophysics at UCSC, Jonathan Fortney, carbon dioxide is a very sensitive measuring stick, the best currently available to scientists for heavy elements in giant planet atmospheres. Stars and gas giant planets are primarily made up of the lightest elements, helium and hydrogen. Still, the abundant presence of heavier elements, what scientists call metallicity, is a critical factor in planet formation. Professor Jonathan Fortney stated that determining the quantity of heavy elements in a planet is vital to understanding the planet's formation, and scientists would be able to use carbon dioxide as a measuring stick for other exoplanets to build up a comprehensive understanding of giant planet composition. He also noted that WASP-39b seems to have a similar composition to Saturn, whose metallicity is ten times that of the Sun. This means that WASP-39b also appears to be enriched in heavy elements by around ten times relative to the Sun. The fact that scientists were able to discover carbon dioxide in this exoplanet's atmosphere is a good sign for the possibility of eventually understanding the atmospheres of rocky worlds comparable to Earth, which is one of the major goals of the James Webb Space Telescope. It may also be beneficial in the search for alien life, as it may be a fascinating biosignature when seen in combination with other molecules like methane. A member of the research team from the University of Maryland, Eliza Kempton, also said, This planet is not a hospitable place. It's like what you would get if you took Jupiter but moved it really close to the sun and baked it. It's not a place you would ever want to visit, but this is the first step towards characterizing the atmospheres of habitable planets. 
That said, it's important to characterize these atmospheres as it's possibly our best chance at finding signs of extraterrestrial life. Aside from carbon dioxide, the team of scientists also found another bump in their data, signifying that something unusual in WASP-39b's atmosphere was absorbing some of the starlight. The scientists aren't sure what this mystery molecule may be, but they are working towards figuring it out with additional data from the Webb Space Telescope. And that's a wrap on this video. Thank you for watching Fact Nominal.